Hi YouTube, it's your girl Miani here. I'm going to do a response video today. Um, normally in the morning before I go to work, I would watch, um, I'm just going to call him T-Funk because I don't know if it's T-Pendel or T-Pendel, but he does like a, a daily vlog and I try to watch it every morning because he is like too funny. But um, the response video that I'm going to do today is to his video that he posted today and it was about your worst girlfriend ever. Now, I don't have a girlfriend nor do I have a boyfriend, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> I'm just going to talk about, I can't say I had a really bad boyfriend, but I'll talk about my worst date ever, like this person that I dated. He was just horrible. Anyhow, um, this was like years ago, probably three, four years ago. Um, I was working in the gallery and uh, on my way back to work, this one guy, met this guy and he asked me out and I was like, no, nah, I'm good. I don't do that, you know, whole yo shorty type of thing. He didn't do that, but I try to stay away from people that approach me in that type of way. Nevertheless, um, he came back to my job. Um, how he knew where I worked, that should have been my first sign, right? <laughs> he came back to my job and he asked me out again. So I said, okay, you know, we exchanged numbers and we went out a couple times. We probably went out for like two weeks. So within that two weeks, we probably did like maybe four, four days. We went to the park, um, watched movies, stuff like that. And then after that, I had to go home. I went to Barbados for maybe two weeks on a little vacay. So I came back from Barbados and I just was not feeling the whole dating thing at all. I, I wasn't feeling it. I didn't want to do the dating thing anymore. So I told him, I was like, you know, I'm not, I don't want to do it. He did not take this easily at all. He just went through this whole, oh, I'm a thorough dude. I don't know what's going on. We were doing good. I was really feeling you. Like all this. And I hate, I hate, hate, hate when guys describe themselves as a thorough dude. Like, I'm a thorough dude. I don't know what's going on. Boy, bye. Like, uh. Anyhow, um, he just would not let up and I kept telling him like I'm not feeling this I don't want to do the dating thing this is done for when I said this man he called me like for a week straight three o'clock in the morning wouldn't say nothing on the phone just breathe breathe in the phone nothing at all for like a week straight and then at one point he sent roses to my job and it was just kind of creepy that my first set of roses was from a crazy person, a psycho. I don't even like flowers. Like, I'm, I'm not a rose type of girl. But it was just like, oh, you got flowers, but oh, it's from a stalker slash crazy person that would, like, might not kill you, but kind of sort of would if he could. And it was just so bad. So bad. It even came to the point where, like, I was denying all his phone calls. I was at school one day. I was sitting in my um, fashion merchandising class. And... I got a phone call and it's this young lady she's like oh hi um I understand you're the manager at so-and-so and I was just in there and they gave me your number so you can help me and I'm like why would they give you my number like I'm off duty I'm not even on the clock right now I can't help you she was like but this is you know you're you are the manager of this store I'm like yeah she was like okay well hold on let me get my information together and I'll call you right back so this number calls back and it is him on the phone he got some girl to call me like she was somebody else just so I could take the call. I was just too through. I flipped. Like, I stormed out the class. I was out in the parking lot, like, going off. Berserk. And it pissed me off to the point where I just took my phone and I, like, whipped it across this, the parking lot. It went under some, some um, cars and stuff like that. I didn't even bother to go get it. Like, some people brought it back to me. It was still intact and everything. But this dude was just, like, oh, he would not let up would not let up i mean we were only going out for two weeks how hooked or what can you be we didn't do anything we went out and then another thing that turned me out off when we went out one time we were in a park uh he's sitting on the ledge and i'm like just leaning on him and i heard <laughs> so like another minute later i heard Are you kidding me? He did not just... The hell is that smell? This man is sitting in front of me farting. And we just met like a week ago. You don't do that. You don't fart 
in front of people like that. That is just gross, nasty, trifling, all that good stuff. You hold all this bowel movement and the air circulation in for like two, three years, okay? You hold that shit in. You don't let it out. Not on the first, second, third date. You don't do that. Pissed as hell. Anyway, that's my um worst dating experience ever. Until next time, you guys keep rising.